Todd McShay's latest NFL mock draft is out. We're going to do the first round on today's video. We will do the second round. And as soon as we get to 100 new subscribers for this video, we'll drop the second round. That could be in an hour, could be later in the day. But the bosses are requiring we get more subs on this channel. So if you want round two, make sure you subscribe to us here at NFL Draft by Chat Sports. Tom Downey for Chat Sports here with the latest Todd McShay NFL mock draft. He's going two full rounds with trades. We begin at pick number one because, you know, where else would we begin? C.J. Stroud is the selection out uh, for Carolina out of Ohio State. We have spent a large amount of time on C.J. Stroud. On number two pick, Bryce Young out of Al Alabama. So, quite frankly, I don't feel the need to spend too much time on those guys. You know exactly who they are as prospects, their strengths and, and weaknesses, etc. But before we get to pick number three, a trade. Indianapolis jumping up to number four or from number four overall and paying a heavy, heavy, heavy quarterback tax. McShay's trade idea here is something in the ballpark. Just say what it is, Todd. A third and a future second. Now, that is close to the uh, infamous, I'll call it, uh, Mitchell Trubisky trade from the Bears. That is a lot to give up if you are Indy. That is a significant overpay the quarterback tax, if we will. But Indy moves up to take a quarterback. Anthony Richardson, number three overall. McShay says he's heard mixed messages. He can't decide if it's Richardson or Will Levis. I think it's Richardson, for what it's worth, if they do take a quarterback there at number three. I would make note this would be the fourth time in the quote-unquote common draft era where quarterbacks go one, two, and three overall. Not maybe number four. We'll get to that fourth pick here in a moment, but I want your predictions here. Will a team trade up for the number three pick? I believe the Cardinals would love to move down and acquire more draft capital for what is going to be a bit of a rebuild. Not sure they're even uh, attached to making sure they get Will Anderson, hypothetically. So will a team trade up for that number three overall pick? Why for yes and for no? It's going to be the pinned comments of today's video. So if an ad break comes here on YouTube, Cool. Take advantage of it. Head down there. Let us know. Y for yes, N for no. Will Anderson does go number four. Again, that's pretty logical. Best player for most people in the draft. Gets in a 3-4 edge. It's a good fit. Jalen Carter ends up going number five. And this is what is tricky. Uh, where Carter goes, I don't have a great feel. He's only taking draft into the top ten, which his camp clearly thinks is going to go in the top ten. Tyree Wilson, number six overall uh, out of Texas Tech. He's a lanky, long, uh, can maybe play some inside there for the Lions uh, on third downs. I don't mind the fit, though, for, for Tyree Wilson. You add that to Hutchinson. Houston's a good combo there. Devin Witherspoon, though, is the first quarterback, cornerback, excuse me, off the board. Uh, I'm not sure he goes uh, corner one, but... I do think the Raiders might be a little bit more likely as we sit right now to go defense than they would to go quarterback. Back-to-back -back corners, Christian Gonzalez out of Oregon. I would say a couple names to monitor here for, for, uh, for Atlanta. I think they would love Christian Gonzalez. I think they'd love Tyree Wilson if he gets to them. Obviously, Will Anderson. Uh, if Gonzalez and Wilson are gone, keep an eye on like a Miles Murphy and a Nolan Smith. Peter Skaronsky at uh, tackle... Slash guard here. Um, he wants to move J Jenkins to the inside and then play Skronsky at right tackle. So I, I guess that's fine uh, in the end. Bears also wouldn't mind looking to trade down there. Lucas Van Ness goes number 10, which uh, is interesting. I like Van Ness. I think George Karloftis style player here. But I, I, think, you, I think top 10 is, is a little bit rich here uh, for what what we're talking about Philadelphia. I would prefer Nolan Smith, who we'll get to in a little bit. Not a tackle at number 11. Jackson Smith in Jigba at, out of Ohio State here goes number 11. I have concerns. I think if you're maximizing Burks and JSN, 
Both guys are in the slot, but you're taking the best receiver in the draft. I, you're trying to make things better for Tannehill and or maybe Malik Willis or a different quarterback. So, hey, you know, it's not a tackle. I appreciate the variety there from McShay. Love Nolan Smith here uh, at number 12, getting a full uh, – juiced up pass rusher is something Houston needs now maybe if JSN's there he ends up being the pick but I do think acquiring uh, an edge rusher is a must for Houston early on in this year's draft are you tired of struggling with bad habits cold turkey might be great for sandwiches but there's a better way to break free from those pesky habits and it doesn't involve weird mind voodoo or other bizarre tactics uh, tactics. So introducing our sponsor, Fume, an innovative award nominated device that helps you kick bad habits to the curb by focusing on the good parts. Fume is all about embracing the natural. It's not electronic and instead of vapor, Fume uses air, flavored air. Best of all, it's free of harmful chemicals and packed with delicious all natural flavors. The adjustable airflow dial and movable parts and magnets make it perfect for fidgeting, which can help alleviate stress and anxiety while you break your habit. Wasn't I wasn't sure what to expect at first, to be quite honest, but I was pretty pleasantly surprised by the taste, feel, and look of Fume. Breaking a bad habit can be tough. But with Fume, it's easy, enjoyable, and even fun. With over 100,000 customers and countless success stories, there's no reason why you can't be next. Breaking, uh, Start your journey today towards a healthier lifestyle with a journey pack from Fume. Visit tryfume.com slash chatsports and use code chatsports for 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's T-R-Y-F-U-M dot com slash chatsports and we're going to use the code chatsports. Links in the comment section and the description of today's video. Paris Johnson slides, quote-unquote, so this makes this a perfect selection uh, for the New York Jets. Johnson, number 13 of Ohio State, Plug him in at left tackle. There you go. Another trade at number 14, the Tampa Bay Buccaneer, uh, Buccaneers. A slight overpay, the third and a fifth rounder. Call it the quarterback tax because Tampa comes up to take Will Levis out of Kentucky. Uh, I am not a believer in Kyle Trask. I do think Tampa is going to have give him a chance there. But I do think if Levis starts to slide, Tampa is a logical fit for Levis. And maybe there were some concerns over the Commanders or Packers taking a quarterback. But Green Bay goes Miles Murphy, at number 15 overall. I'm on board with this one. They could use some more pass rush help. Rashawn Gary's come up for an ACL. I think Murphy's a good scheme fit for them. Joey Porter Jr., number 16 overall, the number three corner take it here. Commanders need, need some more help. I love JPJ. Be a home run fit for the Commanders. Broderick Jones at number 17, the next of the top offensive tackles off the board here. Uh, he'd be a plug-and-play at left tackle. Then one of our weirder picks in round one, uh, B. John Robinson. Uh, and make sure you start with the fans will question, which like, yes, they will, because they have Jamal, uh, they lose Jamal Williams, but they have DeAndre Swift and David Montgomery. So I think adding another running back is maybe not the most logical output. So Lions fans, don't get mad at me. I don't love this pick either. Number 19, the Patriots now have, having trading, traded down, take Darnell Wright. So this would be a potential right tackle option for them. I think that 15 to... You know, early 20s range. I, I could see Darnell Wright going there because he'll is probably the best pure right tackle in this year's class. Zay Flowers, who I do think could be receiver two off the board, goes as receiver to the Seattle Seahawks. McShay's been liking the draft a slot receiver for, for Seattle. I don't hate it. Kalijah Cansey goes 21 to the Los Angeles Chargers. Um Brandon Staley saw Aaron Donald. I do want to make it clear. Cansey's not Aaron Donald. I think he's more Ed Oliver, who hopefully has a better career. But that impactful uh, three technique, it's weird because McShay starts off talking about the run defense, which isn't great for what Cansey does. I thought that was kind of a weird fit. Quinton Johnston at a TCU to the Ravens. If weird blend of traits and skills, built like a possession guy, but plays like a smaller uh, receiver. Hey, let's get some Lamar Jackson. I assume it's Lamar Jackson or a new quarterback, whoever the hell it is. Some actual receiver help. Producer Patrick, our Vikings fan, hates this one. Hendon Hooker, number 23 overall. I I would be very scared of drafting a 25-year-old quarterback coming up to an ACL uh, in a Mickey Mouse offense, which he needs time to adjust to an NFL one, a real one, with actual full-field reads and whatnot in the first round. I like him. He's my number five quarterback. 
that's a reach for me. So how many quarterbacks end up going in round one? I think the over-under is four and a half. Is it four? Is it five? Is it only three? Does Will Levis not go round one? Get those predictions in for me in the comment section. Dalton Kincaid, number 24. Uh, he plays a little bit like Evan Ingram to an extent. Uh, he's a, b a better seam stretcher. The back has to be checked out. That should be raising some red flags there. Emmanuel Forbes to the Giants. Not a receiver, but a corner. He's 166 pounds, but if if he was, honestly, if Emmanuel Forbes, if, it's, if you could uh, reverse liposuction him and give him like 25 pounds of weight, he would be in the running for top corner this year because he's got great ball skills, good size outside of the skinniness, and he's fast too, but he's skinny. Michael Mayer, number 26. I, I would love this one. I've got Mayer as the best tight end in, in this year's class. They have some good tight end options, I know already, but Mayer would be an upgrade and would be the best tight end immediately for this team. Jordan Addison, number 27. He's also a little bit skinny, but as the fourth receiver taken, I think that's a great selection for the Buffalo Bills. Cornerback Deontay Banks, number 28. Now, they do have Cam Taylor Britt. I like the value of Banks here. I wonder if the Bengals might prefer a trench player or even just a straight-up tight end, but I, I like the Banks value. At a time, he was at a barre at a Northwestern, goes number 29. I think he's got to play three technique in the NFL. Maybe he could do some five technique stuff for you, but he's an, an impressive athlete who a lot of projection there. Will McDonald, number 30 out of Iowa State, uh, a bendy edge rusher there for Philadelphia. Love that pick. And I'm a big fan of Felix Enudike Yazama out of Kansas State. He goes number 31 uh, to give some more juice to that pass rushing crew uh, in Kansas City. 